Hello everyone, it's Thomas here. In this video, I'm going to show you a demo of hacking a web game only by using web developer tools. This is our game, Chrono Cipher. So let's see how this game works. We have to get an idea about the game before we start hacking it. Let me start the game now. Oh, here you are. I have been looking all over for you. Listen to me. This is very important and we don't have time to spare. I'm not going to tell you who I am as I can make an even greater mess. All you need to know is that I come from the future where something has just gone terribly wrong. An apocalypse started by someone evil destroyed our world. And now there's almost nothing left. The problem is no one knows the exact moment when everything started falling apart. If if we could figure that part out, maybe all of mankind could be saved. We gathered information about all possible suspects in this tablet. And while the tablet did give us answers, it's all gibberish for some reason. You are one of the brightest minds in our history, which is why I'm here. Could you take a look at it? We need information about who did it, when, and how. Okay, so let's look around and see what we have to do here. So we need to find the suspect, the weapon, the city and the year. So we have an answer failed. Here we have to submit the answer. Shall we type something here? Are you sure this is the one? Maybe take another look. Never mind. Let's see what's on these weapons. A 3D printer, okay. Hypnotic glass. Oh, we have a toilet paper back home. <laughs> nice game, by the way. What's over here? Some different characters. Dangerous ones. Let's look on the other one. Okay, secret memo. Looks like all of these are encrypted. The word cipher makes sense, right? No, we can click this. What are these letters? Okay, I think one of these letters will decrypt this encoded field in here. Guess we have to try them all. What do we got in here? Some message text written to someone. Save. I guess this message is referring to someone over here or oh, maybe a weapon, I don't know. We still have to find the answer. Let's try decoding this. Okay, we got another message. A memo actually. Here we have another one. I think we got a lot of secret memos in here. Okay, we got 38 memos to decode. It will take like <laughs> forever to decode this and guess the answer. We still have to find the suspect, the weapon, the city and the year. 
So without wasting time, uh, we, we will see what we can do to get the answer. Let's open the developer tools. Let's go through all these codes. I think we need to look for the variable which stored the answer. To find this, we have to go through all this. We have to find the section where they have included the script for this game. So this is the container for this answer area. Let's see if it has any functions stored or variables. Okay, in here we can find the answer field, the form field for this section. So it seems they have a separate file for the scripting part. They have included external script external links for these scripts oh we have an inline script here let's see if we find any variables here whoa we have something here it seems this is the variable that stores the answer typed by the user. We can see the answer submit here, the form submission. So what we need to look for here is the function or the variable which checks or compares the actual answer and the answer typed by the user. Let me zoom this on. After we submit the answer, it will trigger this event here or the function. So whatever happens after we submit the answer is defined by what's inside this particular code block. This line defines that what we've typed in the answer field will be assigned into this answer variable. In here, a sound will be played by this play function. This locks a message into the console. In here, in this win variable, it checks for the typed answer and the answer which is already declared inside. Whatever the answer we need is lies inside this check answer function. In this if function, if our answer is correct, this win scene function will be triggered. So we have to find out what's inside this check answer function. Okay, let me zoom out and go to the console. Let's clear this stuff in here. Zoom into this console. Let's see if we can get anything from this answer variable. This is probably because it's defined as let and let is not a global variable, which means it's limited to inside this particular word block. We'll see what's inside this check answer function. So in here we can see the content inside the answer variable. We can also see the variables for each parts of this answer. Suspect name. So in this case, this check answer function is the key to get the correct answer for this person. So when we type the answer, it checks with these variables inside the answer as I told you whatever the answer we type here will be checked with the answer defined inside this function let me go down as we now know what are the variable names for the correct answers 
we can call those variables and see what's assigned inside. Let's call the suspect name. Bingo! We got the answer. Suspect name. Next, the weapon name. Okay, we got it. Next, the location name. Got it. Saint Louis. The last one, answer date. 2148 so let's check these answers I think I have typed something wrong here. Let's check it out. Check with this suspect name. Seems all are good. Alright, I just forgot about their submission format. I should write the answer according to this submission format. Seriously. Oh, in here. I just missed the space. <laughs> Perfect. You did it! This timeline can now be fixed. Thank you so much. We are all in your debt. Hopefully, we won't need your help again. But if we do, we know where to find you. Till next time. So that's what I wanted to show you. So this kind of method will only be applicable for the games made with HTML5 and JavaScript. So if I go through this code again. So what happens in here is if we 
type the answer correctly this winsync function will get triggered so what if we can directly call this function that means we can directly win the game without typing any answer so let's try and call out this winsync function so let's zoom out let's start the game again and we will check it out oh let's go to that function we have been seen in here so let's see what happens if we call this function within the console yep it works you did it this timeline can now be fixed thank you so much we are all in your debt hopefully we won't need your help again but if we do we know where to find you till next time so that's the end of this video hope you have learned something from this uh thanks for watching and have a good day